Hey guys, uh, alright, so let's see, it's been a while since I posted the, the last video and uh, I'm sorry, so <laughs> stop with all the messages. No, um, I understand, everybody's like, uh, when's the next video, when's the next video? And it's been crazy, so the last, you know, month and a half or so, uh, let's see, last month I pretty much started the month off getting the flu like the rest of the planet and then that turned into uh, some other kind of crazy sickness uh, for another week and then then I got sick again <laughs> after that week so whatever it was my body hated me last month and and uh, and it just was nuts so uh, needless to say I ended up getting behind in a lot of just everything in the normal uh, daily life of, uh, of everything and uh, ended up having to catch up on all my uh, business client work stuff and it kind of pulled me away from the car so I wasn't able to do so much with that and so it's been just kind of on and off in and out with uh, working out with the car and working on the dash and everything um, didn't get to do as many videos as I wanted to but I did do some stuff and I'll post that uh, after this video kind of explaining everything um, and then I'll cover some of the dash stuff but but like I did some of the the top here, as you can see, um, and then I've done some work on the dash over there, if you can see that in the background. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, just I got knocked out last month, and uh, it's just been one of those months trying to catch up on everything. Uh, and luckily now I'm able to uh, get back and work in the work mode on the car stuff, and I've been doing a lot of project things and have a documentary deal that I'm working with uh, my nephew and so that's going to be interesting to to see how that turns out uh, it's pretty different as far as the filming goes because I'm not like holding the camera swinging around making everybody sick like I did in the last video but uh, you know it's been different because I'm working with like real professional camera equipment and all this lighting and you know it's kind of cool and uh, intimidating and just I don't know just different so it's good experience I guess uh, and we'll see how this documentary goes but uh, it's only like a 12 minute long you know short film festival type documentary deal and it's really just I think uh, not really covering the blade car specific or even me specific but it's I think it's more about the idea of you know a crazy person like me doing something like this and the determination behind it and how that kind of bleeds into the family and stuff like that so I guess we'll know the full message when uh, it gets finished, which hopefully will be next month, I think. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on that. So I guess let me um, show you more on the dash stuff and what I've been doing with that before I talk too much on this part. So anyway, here we go. All right, guys. So here we are looking at the uh, dash now. And uh, let's see, compared to the last video, uh, I hadn't had all the the vents in place and it was not uh, I guess shaped as cleanly and now I've gone and kind of refined the shape <coughs> the shape and I have uh, added some a little bit of modifications to the original theme of the design uh, to try to add a little bit more fluid you know flow to uh, to some of the areas of the dash so so yeah as you can see I have all four vents in place and it's not exactly you know symmetrical it loses its symmetry when you have the big big gauge pot over there uh, and that's fine I, I actually like that it's not super symmetrical and all that you know and I like it to be different from all angles now but uh, but one area that I did change was you know like I have these vents here and this one I just dropped a little bit ago and so it's all cracked and everything but um, yeah, so I have like this little bulged relief type area in the dash. So, it, you know, previously uh, the dash was just straight across uh, over the vents and it looked okay, but it was just, I guess because the dash is so uh, hardened, I guess, with hard lines and, you know, sharp edges and things that it was becoming overkill with that part of the theme, you know, with, with the hard edge part. And so I wanted to add a little bit more um, you know, more of that kind of ergonomic or uh, I don't really know what the correct 
you know design technical term is so you guys probably you design guys at least would know what the heck I'm trying to say but you know I just needed it to flow better into the dash you know with these vents and I needed everything to uh, to just fit in well so I added the relief and it just made this line around the vents nicer and not as harsh and it just adds a little bit you know uniqueness to this shape so so yeah so this is you know has a slight curve going this way and it's relatively flat and straight this way and then we have the little bulged area and then we have this hard relatively flat uh, center section to the console and then all the gauges have some type of you know r relief into it so the edge over here is different than how this one is this is very different because I'm having to integrate this hood I guess this is what you kind of call it I'm, I don't really know I'm just I have it shaped and this is just where I'm going with the design so far so I may change it but so we have the main gauge pod here that's really a separate piece fit into this area that has the the hood and then and this is all made out of clay all self-supporting holding itself really well so pretty cool um, and then over on this side I have the little relief area also and then you know the vent so you know the the color theme if you can imagine in your head is we have like a dark double stitched you know real elegant leather uh, on top and then inlaid in this area will be a similar style leather but it'll be a lighter shade and it'll be double stitched to merge with this leather here and then you can imagine like a like a blade badge or something over here and then these vents will be made out of carbon fiber uh, covered in carbon fiber um, or just made out of carbon fiber probably and then the uh, the actual vent won't be like these but similar it just what what it'll, what it'll have is have a aviation styled um, aluminum vent and what you'll do is you'll turn it and it'll open up the flaps on the inside and then you can close it off completely by turning it the other way so they're exactly the same size as these and that's great and I'll get those later um, they're real expensive and I may end up having some custom made or something so I don't know we'll see where I go with that but I've come across a few different designs that I'll have to experiment when I can kind of afford to experiment that way so uh, let's see I'm all out of breath now I'm talking too much um, and then the same, oh, okay, so we got the dark leather <laughs> over here, and then it hits this piece, and this will be uh, a lighter leather that matches the same color here, and it'll carry that theme all the way down and through the console, if you can imagine. And then on this side, we'll have that same covered in dark leather, uh, double stitched, you know, probably with like red stitching or something like that to match the car, at least for the first um, car design. So. Uh, so yeah, and then this piece here will be made out of carbon fiber, and and then these vents, of course, the same carbon fiber and aluminum, and then I'll have the gauges, and this gauge is just kind of hanging in there, so it's not really. This will actually set pretty far back inside the this uh, gauge pod, and that way I keep the sun out. But I'm going to use the same style of gauge, not this exact one because this is really old school. Um, so I'm going to use their new versions of gauges and then I'll have a you know 10 or 11,000 rpm gauge and then I'll have uh, the uh, tuner mile an hour uh, speedo gauge over here and then I have uh, switches down in this area switches over here steering column here you know so I know a lot of you guys are like where's the steering column and the steering wheel well I'll get to that <laughs> at some point but it's all you know clearing and have room for the steering wheel and all that um, so don't worry that will come uh, later so one other little thing that I'm doing and if you can see I have this little metal looking piece which is just uh, cardboard cut to uh, size so this is like a little trim piece and it starts up at this part it pretty much divides the dash and it'll be made out of aluminum and then it just comes down and basically it's shaped like a blade and I want to try to have, I don't know, what, what am I trying to say, have certain little blade theme elements into the car design just 
maybe like three total. <laughs> so I'm not going to go overkill with it, but I just, you know, would like to have that carry into the design. So think of this as like almost like a sharpened knife blade look to it. And it'll come down and I'm going to have another one on this side. So we take this over here, stick it like that, although it doesn't fit exactly. But I have another one on this side, except it's going to come out further. And then I'll actually have a handle that'll be um, made out of aluminum, and then the handle piece will have uh, some leather grip to it, and it'll it'll have like some cool like sword styled leather you know grip. I don't know, just use your imagination. So <laughs> all in kind of like an elegant way, you know, it's not getting crazy. So uh, yeah, and that's the idea behind that piece. Then, as you can see, I have placed uh, some ideas for the touchscreen and AC controls and I think what I'm going to do now is just stick with the 7 inch you know uh, typical touchscreen layout and I think that's the best way to go instead of trying to throw an iPad or, or or one of the bigger you know 10 inch or 11 inch displays they're so you know non-standard right now that it's really difficult to go down that path and expect it to be a standard or stay the same. So if I go this route, I know I can probably go, you know, five years or ten years at least or whatever and still have the same double din styled uh, display. So, you know, it may if I do like a SEMA car or something, then I may go all out and put like a big giant crazy, you know, widescreen TV monitor or something right there. But uh, right now I like to just keep it with the simplicity side of things. And what I've done is I have enough room to add two of the seven inch screens which I think in itself is pretty unique to, you know, any other card that's out there right now. I don't know of any that have two. Um, so, you know, this top will have an independent system that will have all your gauges uh, that you would expect to see on your dash. And, and they'll be customizable. You can touch them and move them over. This is using the, the torque uh, engine analysis and, uh, you know, ODB2 I mean, ODB system setup. Uh, and this is what I run on my phone, so I just blew the picture up <laughs> and and printed it out on this little piece. So this will have all your gauge instrument clusters that's tied directly into the computer, and it's independent from this area here, which would, I oh, can't see that, too much glare. Uh, this would be the stereo setup, and it's completely independent, so you can swap it out with another, you know, high-end Sony, or we can do whatever at that point so it's just to represent the space right now but you kind of get the idea and then, then down below I actually found a AC control uh, unit that is somewhat universal that I can use with the AC system that I want to use, you want, want, blah, that I want to use in the system or in the car and it has both manual buttons for all the controls and it has a, a touch screen in the middle for adjusting temperature um, and controlling some of the other AC functions and uh, that's pretty cool so I have to kind of find the main source for that which I'm sure is somewhere in China or something and and I found a company I need to contact them and figure out you know exactly what or how I can get that piece like you know a bunch of them and I can bet I think a lot of the, like kit car people would eat that up you know because a lot of them are going after this Lambo styled um, unit that's really really old uh, and this is a little bit more modern and updated so anyway uh, that I think kind of covers everything with the dash so you can see you know kind of see the idea and direction that I'm going in I still have a lot of work to do on it there's been a bunch of issues since the weather was so crazy the past couple of months that you know I'd walk out and I'd walk out into the garage and the dash would have a huge crack across it so uh, I had to go back through and repair it and that's just because it's not the clay that's really causing the cracking issue or shrinking or whatever but uh, it's the dash uh, since I've put the clay on top of the old um, Miata dash and kind of used that as the base structure for this um, <laughs> that dash like any other plastic dash is heats up and shrinks uh, you know expands and it shrinks so much that it causes a lot of cracking going on and you know if you live in Texas then you look at anybody's dash just about in their car and they're always cracked or messed up or warped or whatever because of that heat issue um, but 
<clears throat> so, um, I'm talking so much I'm running out of breath. Yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at with that. And like I said, the uh, have some other stuff that I'm working on. And um, I don't know, uh, I guess I'll uh, cover that in a, in a later video or something. Um, but I guess we'll see. So, you know, let me know what you guys think of this dash work. And, you know, if you're just now seeing this for the first time, make sure you uh, like and subscribe the videos and uh, all that. So, you know, if you like it, then that really helps my videos kind of pop up and let everybody else see uh, what I'm doing. And then obviously if you uh, subscribe, then, you know, you guys get updated uh, more regularly with all the things that I'm doing. So, yeah, do that, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Later. Hey, guys. Uh, all right, I'm not gone yet. I just uh, wanted to cover something real quick that I was working on, or that I am working on, and it's a uh, another type of video series deal. Don't know how to explain it yet, but uh, essentially what I want to do is kind of cover more stuff that's... Uh, related to news and to this craft, I guess, and to what I'm doing with the car, but more in general for you guys. So basically I'm getting a lot of emails where people are sending me information and they're sending me a lot of images and pictures and you know, telling me about their projects that they're working on and uh, sharing ideas with how I can do things better and you know, telling me how there's things that I've done that's helped them. And then uh, a lot of people are sending me artwork and design work and I thought you know it'd be good to maybe start another series up of, of types of videos that's not really focused on the car so much but maybe focused on what you guys are doing and uh, I can sit down and kind of talk and share that information with you and we can all kind of discover new talent and uh, other projects that are out there so what I'd like is for you guys to maybe um, shoot me some ideas of what I should talk about and what I should cover and uh, feel free to send me um, images and pictures and ideas about your projects and uh, your even design work, artwork or whatever and uh, you can either uh, send it to me email, uh, my Facebook page, uh, through YouTube I think maybe and I even have a mailing address that you guys can use uh, as well. So. Because I get a lot of things, even people are mailing me stuff, so it'd be nice to talk about it and show it and kind of do it in a different format and experiment with some different type of video stuff. So uh, let me know what you guys think of that, and I will see you guys next time. Later.